Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video of Easy Tutorials and today in this video I'll create a pop-up box that will display a video as you can see on my computer screen right now once I'll click on this play button it will display the first video now I'll click on somewhere else so it will close this pop-up box now I'll click on the second play button so it will display the second video let's click on the third play button so it will play the third video you can see these control options also I can pause and play this video Even you can move forward and backward this video. You can also make this video full screen and again come back to the small window. So in this video you will learn to create this pop-up box that will contain a video. Before starting this video, I'll request you to please subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Now let's start this tutorial. This is my project folder and here we have three video and we have three images also. And this one is HTML file, this is a play button image and this is CSS file. Now I'll go to my text editor and here it is my CSS file and this one is HTML file here you can see I have already connected my CSS with HTML file now we'll add some bootstrap link for that simply go to the Google and search bootstrap open this website From here we will copy this code and add it into the head. Now again come back to this website and again we will copy these scripts and paste it here in head. The second one we don't need so I will delete this one. This text also we can remove. Now after adding this bootstrap link we will come to the body area and here we will create one div. The class name will be container and one more class name that is text center. Now I'll add one heading here. So I'm using h1 tag and here I'll write on click video pop up. Now I'll open my web page with Google Chrome so that you can see this title over here. Then we have to create three columns for that I am using one row and in this row we will create three columns. So I am using this class name call md4 and in the first column I am adding one image. This is my image file name image1.png and one class also img flute. Now I will refresh my web page so that you can see this first image here.
after this image we will add one play icon also so this is my play icon file name play icon dot png so you can see this play icon just below this image now let's come to the css and first we will write background color important now we'll use this class name container and for this container i'll write margin top after that i'll write h1 and for this h1 i'll write margin bottom now you can see this a space from the top let's write one class name for this play button play dash btn and we'll just use this class name in css file and for this play button i'm writing width 50 pixel position relative top minus 50 percent cursor pointer and transition 0 0.5 second now you can see this play button in center now we have to hide this play button for that i'll write opacity 0 let's come to the html file and we'll write this class name here call md4 hover dot play btn opacity 1 After refreshing this page, you can see once I'll take cursor over this image, it will display the play button. And when I'll remove this cursor from this image, it will hide this play button. Let's duplicate this column to create the second one. So this will be the second column. I'll change the image, image2.png. And let's add it again. So this is the third column, image3.png. Now you can see the three column. There is some mistake here. Sorry, we need to correct this spelling. Now you can see proper alignment for all these three columns. So let's go to the bootstrap site, click on the documentation, then click on components and select this one model. I'll scroll down. And here you can see vertically centered. So just I'll copy this one and add it into the button that is play button here for second button also for third one also. Now we'll copy this entire script. and paste it here now refresh this website so that you can see a pop-up window when i will click on this play button here we can remove this model footer and this header also
in this body i'll write one message hello let's refresh this page so that you can see this hello message when i will click on this button we can also remove this text now it is very simple right now you can see one message here that i'll remove now and here we'll add one video i'll write width 100% then video source i'll write this is my video file name video1.mp4 then we have to write type video slash mp4 now refresh this page so that you can see a video here when i will click on this button here we will add one controls now let's click on this one so that you can see this control buttons also and when i will click on this button this video will start playing simply i'll duplicate this one to add different video in different play button so this will be the second video now we will change this id also here i am writing one id play video 1 play video 2 and play video 3 so we are using three different id and this same id we will use in button also that is data target so here i am writing play video 3 this one is play video 2 in the first one play video one let's refresh this page and click on this button so that you can see different videos when i will click on this different button now we will remove this border for that let's come to the html file Copy this class name model content background transparent border none. Let's come to the website again and click on this button so that you can see there is no border for this video. Now we'll add autoplay and loop for this video. So simply add this one autoplay and loop. Just copy and paste it in the second one also and for third one also. That's it. Let's come to the website and refresh this one. And now you can see this video is playing automatically when I will click on this button. So this is how you can easily create a pop-up video on your website. If this video is helpful for you, please click on the like button and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching.